Alright, I tried this once before. This is just like the blaster box break that I did tonight where I tried to record this and it hasn't worked. I did the blaster boxes of the Chrome and the Press Pass, and you're wondering why it wasn't a complete break. It was because my computer decided to act all screwy and cut off at about six minutes. Anywho, here are the highlights. First, the Press Pass. Um, I'm going to go over the base, the reflectors, and the inserts, and remember it's five packs, four cards per pack, you're guaranteed one reflector per pack, and a two card bonus pack at the end. Alright, well, I've already got these separated out. I had these things separated during the video, and I was about to show the two big mojo hits, if you will, and the camera decided to cut off, so. Base, Darnold Jackson, Anthony Randolph. DJ Augustine, get used to seeing him. You'll see him a couple more times. Or see him at least once more. Russell Westbrook. DJ White, get used to seeing him. Um, Danilo Gallinari. And Curse Lofton. Our five reflectors are Sonny Weems, DeAndre Jordan, get used to seeing this guy, Jared Bayless. Kevin Love, and also get you to see this guy, Collegiate Leaders, Reflectors, OJ Mayo. Now the inserts. Jared Bayless, Class of 2008 insert. OJ Mayo, Power Pick. DJ White, Collegiate Leaders. Brooke Lopez, uh, Primetime Players. All-Americans, Derek Rose. Jared Bayless, Insider Insight. DJ Augustine, All Americans, and Eric Gordon, DJ White, teammates. And the two card bonus pack featured Derek Rose and Russell Westbrook. So I've got the last three packs of the Chrome, like, you know, in the recap of the press pass and whatnot, on my page. I figured I'd do a recap here. Basically, this break, uh, it wasn't bad. I mean, I did get two Derek Roses, but this thing was dominated by. Basically, f five or six players. DJ Augustine, Westbrook I'm not too mad about. DJ White, he had like two or three cards in this one. Jared Bayless had two of the inserts. OJ Mayo had a reflector and an insert. As you can see right there, DJ White had also the collegiate leaders. So, yeah, pretty much, I don't know, it was 10 bucks. I got it for discount. It was a apparently it was originally twenty, but now it's ten. And we got this box here of 07 weight chrome, ten seven packs plus one extra pack, so it's eight packs. Um you can see the nice cut mark on this box and this box because I used scissors to get into the plastic wrap because it was pretty tight. And yeah, this was originally twenty and it was ten, so I got both boxes for ten. So not bad I think. Let's go over the base. First, I'll go over the base, then the variation cards, and then the rookies. Alright, so here are our base cards. Zach Randolph. Brandon Roy. I'm going to try and fly through this so that the camera doesn't cut off again. Jason Richardson. Gerald Green. It's so hard to read these Chrome cards because you've got the Chrome... Like, the name is Chrome on the Eddie Curry. You can see the name is Chrome, and you have to look at it a certain way just to read the name. Eric Curry, or Eddie Curry, excuse me, Grant Hill, Bargnani, or as, um, I think it was I Pack Searchers call him Bargnani. Bargnani, yeah. Darko Milicic, the, officially the biggest waste of number two overall pick ever. He's probably not even in the league anymore, and if he is, he needs to step up, otherwise he is going to be one of the biggest draft busts of all time. Tony Parker. It's mainly because he hasn't really gotten a chance. He didn't get a chance in Detroit, but now he's in somewhere where he can play, and he's still not doing anything. Chris Bosch, who coincidentally was in the same draft class as um, Milicic. Channing Fry, Eric Gordon, Old School Jim Luskatov, Ben Wallace, Steve Nash, Mickey Moore, it's hard to read those names, Leandro Barbosa, Josh Smith, Old School Chris Mullen, and Rip Hamilton. Now our variations, we got three, I got three of them. Tony Parker, Carmelo Anthony, 
and Darren Williams. No rookie variations, unfortunately. Speaking of rookies, we have seven of them. Jason Smith. Spencer Hawes, your favorite of mine. I absolutely hate the fucking guy because I keep pulling him all the time. Aaron Gray, at least the Toss products anyway. Jason Richard. Marco Bolinelli. Gabe Pruitt. And the nice mojo, the Kevin Durant. Now, you may notice we're missing one rookie and one base. That's because they were both numbered refractors. First, I will show you the base that was missing. It's just Jamal Maglior, number to 999, right here, refractor. Nothing big. But then I saw this was in the first pack I actually busted in the break video. Like, I actually did the break. And I was pretty shocked because I saw this card and I'm thinking, are you kidding me? It's a pretty nice hit. Numbered 24 of 99, white refractor, AC Law. Rookie. And the odds on those are. Okay. Rookie White Refractor 1 in 213 packs. Now, the white. Now, apparently the X Fractors are rarer, but. I don't know whether or not those are numbered lower, but nonetheless, it's a pretty nice hit. Not sure what it books for. It probably doesn't book for anything, but. I guess he lost on a bad player. He's not a bad player. I mean, he's in Horford's sh shadow a little bit coming out of the draft because he was drafted on the same team as Horford, so what are you going to do? But. Nonetheless. Pretty decent break. The press pass sucked, but the crawl more than made up for it. If you need any of these, if you need either of these, let me know. I'll probably work on a trade. You guys know I'm still trying to collect, you know, score 07 and score 09 stuff. Hit me up on any Fleer Ultra 06 gold medallions and inserts because I'm still trying to go after that. And, um, give me a PM, guys. Seriously, I need some feedback. I don't even know why I say that anymore because it seems like every time I say give me some feedback, no one gives me feedback or much less any views. And I'm starting to get tired of it. I mean, I do my videos to get some response and interact with you guys. If you're not going to tell me anything, you know, what am I doing here? I've contemplated leaving YouTube considering how screwed it up it's been half the time because of all the Warner Music Group issues and all that sort of jazz. I mean, I'm just tired of it. Like, I'm not saying I'm sub to me. I'm just saying, give me some, give me some responses here. Like seriously, I need some sort of responses. Anywho, that's it. Thank you. You have a nice evening.